Hey guys, today I have a lug video on the mini dories. It, since it is a smaller bag, I think it's a little bit smaller than people thought it was gonna be. I packed it up. Now this is not how I would pack it for everyday use. I just kinda wanted to show you how things could fit in here and then also what it looked like when you tried to put some things in the two side pouches that are up on the top. So I'm just gonna kinda show you how I can pack this and what things you can fit in here and kind of just give you a review and all of the compartments and show you how this wears on the body. So this is the mini dory and I'm just gonna kind of go in detail on just this particular bag. I do have another video comparing this with two other bags so I can link that down below for you guys if you wanna check that out. But this is gonna be just on the mini dory today and it's in this really beautiful coral color which is more of like your orange highlighter color. It's really vibrant and bright. You can see it against this black. It is very vibrant color. Let me just go ahead and start off by showing you how it wears on the body since it's completely packed up and you can see that a side view shows it is really packed up, really full, and you can see this top view too that I've got something in both of these sides and the magnetic close is not closing on one of those, but I want to show you some options that you can do for that instead of how I have it packed. So let me just go ahead and show you how this looks on the body when it's completely packed so you can kind of see how it lays against. So you do have these straps that you can carry it by if you want to kind of just Carry it this way without the straps. You can detach these straps or you can carry it over the shoulder. So this is as short as it gets and you can see how this looks completely packed up as short as it gets. Now this does have a one and a half inch strap which surprises me about this small of a bag that it doesn't just have a one inch strap. So it does have that really nice one and a half inch strap and you can see that it's not really falling off the shoulders that much until you really move around and then it kind of does. But like when you're just walking, sometimes I'll have some of those fall off even with the one and a half inch straps, but that's not doing that. So you do have a little bit of room that you can move around without that falling off. And then you can see when it is on your shoulder or as a crossbody that these handles do stick up. They're not gonna lay down flat against it. So those do stay up when they are against your body. So let's just go ahead and adjust this for crossbody so you can see how it looks crossbody as well. And this has got a really nice smooth transition when you are moving this. It's really nice and smooth, not hard at all to do. So let's see how this looks crossbody. All right, so this is hitting me right at the hip, which is where I like for them to hit crossbody on me. I am 5'5 five five for reference. Here is the adjustment. You have this much more length so it can get even longer. So here is a side view and here is the front view of this as a crossbody. And I decided to wear black so you could just really see this pop against it and really be able to tell how this looks like on as a crossbody. So here is how the mini dory wears on the body. So now you've seen how it wears, let's just get into all the compartments and all of the specifics of this bag. So like I said, this is in the coral color. As of now, this comes in all of your neon colors, plus it also comes in a sand and a black. I did pick it up in black as well. So you do have that one and a half inch strap with the gunmetal hardware. You got your cursive lug logo right here in the middle and it is gunmetal as well. All your zippers, all your zipper pulls are gunmetal. And this beautiful quilting, I love this macro quilting that it has. I think it's so pretty. But then it also has your little like handle stitching that comes down on the front and in the back as well. But this quilting goes all the way through, all the way to the bottom as well. You don't see any feet. It doesn't have a wipeable surface on the bottom. But then you can see that this quilting detail just goes all the way around the back. So let's just go ahead and start off with the front part of this. So on the top, if I wanna just give you a top view here, you can see that it has this middle zipper and then it has two magnetic closure pockets on the top. So instead of it being on the front, they're kind of on the top. So what I have in this front one is one of your larger size iPhones with the pop socket on the back of this. So when I had it in there with it packed on the inside the way I have it, the magnetic close did not snap. It was left open and it was gapped. That's why I wanted to also show you that top view before I got anything out so that you could see that it didn't close. And then you can see how I have packed the back one as well. It's not closing, but there is another option that you could put something in here a little bit different, but have the same kind of thing in here and it would be able to close. So I'll show you that in just a minute. So this cell phone in the front would not make it close the way I have it packed on the inside. But if you didn't have it packed near as full, but as you can see, it's kind of full. I just wanted to show you if you pack it full, how these two pockets on the top work and they won't close if you pack it full on the inside. Then I'll empty it out and then show you how these would work on them as soon as it's emptied out as well. So then you can see on this other 
pockets that's soft lined. I actually put a bobsled in there. So I wanted you to see that you could put a bobsled in there and it would fit, but it does not close. Or you could just put a regular pair of sunglasses in there and it would close a lot better on them. But if you want it also protected with the bobsled, it does kind of have its own real estate because it kind of makes it poke out a little bit. But as you can see, when I had that in there, it wasn't puffed out too much on the side. See how it is in there and then see how it looks when I take it out. You can see it didn't puff it out too much. So it does have its own real estate out here. It's not taking into the inside of the bag, which is a really nice feature of it. But um, the same thing with the other side as well. It does not kind of take into the real estate inside. It does have its own, but it will make it puff out a little bit if you do have some things in there. So I had the bobsled in there, but like I said, you could put just your sunglasses in there because it is soft lined. It does have the soft lining that's on there and it would be able to have the magnetic close and actually close on you if you did that. So I'll just kind of show you if you had a pair of sunglasses and didn't put it in the bobsled and tried to put it in there, then it does close. So you can see that it did close. It does have that magnetic close that did class if you just put your sunglasses in there without any kind of protection like the bobsled or any kind of eyeglass case or anything. But then you have this really nice zipper area that goes from one side to the other. And when you open it up, I just wanted to show you that I have my son's smaller tablet. So I'm thinking that this is a Fire 8, I think it is. So I think this may be similar to a Kindle. I believe, I don't know the exact measurements of a Kindle because I don't have one, but that did fit in here. So I want you to know that if you have a smaller tablet, it will fit in there. A regular size iPad is not gonna fit in there, but a smaller tablet actually does fit in there. So you can see it actually fit in there, no problem, and it zipped on top of that as well with the other stuff that I had in here. I also wanted to show you that a full-size wallet can fit in here. So I kind of had to, let me kind of give you an inside view of this. I kind of had to stuff it because I have two things in the cargo pockets. So I kind of had to stuff it on the top there. It wouldn't go all the way down to the bottom. When I had my cargo pockets full of things and my clear view pocket full of things, it would not come down to the bottom because when I fill that clear view pocket and when I clear, and when I fill those cargo pockets, those are at the bottom of the bag, so I really couldn't fit anything else at the bottom. So it kind of had to go above where your cargo pockets are and your clear view pocket, if that makes sense. Kind of has to go on the top. But a tram will fit in there. So if you do want a full size wallet, it will fit in there. And then let me just kind of see. I just wanted to see if the tram would fit in this soft line pocket and it does not. So that will not fit in the outside pockets though. And then I actually put another full size wallet in here just to show you that another full size wallet will fit in there pretty well. Of course, like I said, this is not how I would pack it for everyday use. I just kind of wanted to show you how, what things could kind of pack in here and how it packed. So once I got those out, you can see the lining now has that gray background and that really pretty floral brights pattern with the really nice neon stems on the flowers. So you can see the front of that has a clear view pocket area. It's kind of down at the bottom, like I was saying. It's not at the top of this, it is down at the bottom. And I did put some contact solution to trial size and uh, some lip balm in there. That's the only two things that I did put in there. But like I said, when I had these two things in there, with the things that I have in the cargo pocket, I could not fit the wallet down at the bottom. You've got that clear view pocket that's on one side, and then when you go around to the other side, you have the two cargo pockets. They're really shallow. They're not your full size cargo pockets that you have in your other bags. But I do wanna kind of show you two things that I fit in here. First thing is the Metro. So you can kind of see how much taller the Metro is than the cargo pocket. So I have it all the way down at the bottom of the cargo pocket and this much of your Metro is still showing when it's packed down as far as it can go. So that kind of gives you a reference of how shallow these pockets are. So a Metro can fit in one of those and it fits pretty nicely. It slides in and out really well, but half of it kind of shows. The other cargo pocket, this was a very tight fit. I was able to get it in here, but it was a tight fit. I'm trying to see if I can kind of just even pull this out. So you can see, now you can see how shallow this is. So this is a mini choo-choo and you can see it's a tight fit, but it does fit in there. So a mini choo-choo will fit in there. And if you don't have, I actually have the pill case that's in here, but if you put other things in there, you could kind of smash them a little bit if you don't have that case in there and it'll probably fit a little bit better. But with the case in it, it just fits in there really tight. And you can see how much room I had on the top of that from where the cargo pocket was as well. So there are your two cargo pockets. I'm trying to just turn this inside out to see if I can just kind of show you this a little bit better because it is such a small bag. So you can kind of see. So, all right, here's the back of this. I kind of pulled it inside out. Here's your cargo pocket. So you can see how far they go. So they go about the length of my fingers. 
on the cargo pockets. And then you do have that privacy zipper area. I did not put anything in there, but that is an option that you have above the cargo pockets. So on the inside of this mini Dory or this Dory Mini, you have the clear view pocket on one side. You have the privacy zipper on one side with the two cargo pockets. You also have a key bungee in here. So I do just have my earbuds and my flashlight attached to the key bungee, which I do in every single bag. And that was able to fit at the bottom with the stuff in the cargo pocket. So there's the inside of this mini Dory. And I did just wanna show you that a small tablet, maybe a candle, I'm not sure, cause I don't know the measurements of the candle, but I think it's about the same size as that tablet that I showed you fit in here. A full size tram wallet can fit in here. Now the splits XL can fit in here, but it's really tight. You can't really fit anything else in there if you do put the splits XL wallet in there. And um, the Clearview pocket area, like I said, I did just put some lip balm and some contact solution in there. So now that I have this emptied out, now I'm gonna show you how the cell phone will fit in there. So when I first showed you the cell phone, the larger size, it's a really tight fit for that larger size with the pop socket. Now it will close if you don't have it packed as full as I did on the inside. And then on the other side, I'll just show you that you can put sunglasses without it being in a protected case and it closes as well. So you can see the top view now with the cell phone on one side and the sunglasses on the other that the, they do fit. But when you start to feel that inside, it kind of makes it bulk out a little bit and then the magnetic closes don't actually close. So this is the Dory Mini and some of the things that you can fit inside of it. It is a cute little bag. It looks so cute. It's a really nice size, but if you really need a lot of necessities each day, then this is not a great one for that, but it would be a good one for a special occasion or when you're not carrying a lot of things, just when you're carrying your essentials, then this is a really cute bag, but it's definitely not an everyday bag. It's really cute style. It looks like a smaller tenor to me. I just think it's a really cute style. So I'm still on the fence about this color. I love orange um, and where I'm at, our college football team is all about orange. So orange is everywhere around here. So I was really excited to get it, but I'm not really sure if I like the brightness of it, but I don't know. I'm still on the fence about that. And then I did also pick this up in black as well. So this is the mini Dory, super, super cute style. And I just thought that this might be a helpful video to kind of show you some of the things that could fit in there. And then if you do pack it full on the inside, what you could actually fit on those soft lined pockets in the front as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video on the mini Dory. And I hope that it was helpful to you guys, maybe answer some questions that you might've had on this. And then I also hope it was helpful to see how this also wears on the body as well. So these handles are definitely not gonna lay down. You can see that they stick out if you try to lay them down. Cute little bag. Not gonna be great for everyday use, but it's great for some necessities that you might have. And the cargo pockets, just keep in mind, are a little bit more shallow, but a Metro does fit in it, and a Mini Choo Choo fits in it really tightly on that. But if you fill those cargo pockets and the Clearview pocket really full, then you're not gonna be able to fit anything on the bottom of the bag, even though you do have a substantial size on the bottom. When you fill both of those sides up, you really can't fit anything down on the bottom in between those. So I hope this was a helpful video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope to see you in my next video. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.